I'm about to graduate and I'm looking for a job, but I'm still not sure if I should consider working in the government sector. I do love the stability of it. I like the idea of doing great things for the country, and my family would be more than happy if I choose to do so. But there are things I'm not a fan of: bureaucracy, red tapes, too slow to change. Is it worth it? How how do I know if it's right for me? Well, there's two ways to think about it. Try it. Get in. If you enjoy it, if you like it, then continue with it. But sometimes in life, it's not all about enjoyment. Sometimes when there are something that you don't like, stick with it. Be the change in the organization, and get through with it. Persevere through the difficulties. That's what makes life so interesting. Life is not just a smooth sailing. That sometimes you get a storm, sometimes you get waves, but if you persevere through it, that's what makes life valuable. So try it. If you don't like it, feel free to get out because sometimes to do something good for the country, you don't have to be in the government. You can be in the private sector. You can do anything for the good of the country, but just be true to yourself. My parents don't support my relationship. We've been together for five years and are thinking of getting married. They know he's a good guy, but they keep insisting that I can do better. Well, basically, they want me to marry a rich person, not just a right person. What should I tell them? Mm, now this is like a deja vu. Um, I'm not sure if uh, you know the team has specifically chosen this question for me, but uh, be true to your heart, dear. After all. The person that you are going to choose is going to be the one that you spend the rest of your life with. Of course, your parents are the one who brought you up, and they have only the best. You know, they only the best want the best for the world for you. But sometimes it's you who will be spending that lives together. So, well, ask yourself what you really want. Um, rich, poor, it doesn't matter. You can build your life. You can build your wealth together. But make sure that that person is the person that you really want to spend your life with. How long you've known the person? How long that you've known him or her? And you know, if it's a year or two, does it take longer to get to know someone? The only way to get to know someone is when you go through hardship together. You go through that, you still survive. Then you're a soulmate for one another. I know you study engineering, so let's have a little fun with this random question from our fan. Why do you think a lot of characters in BL series are engineering students? What's the correlation here? I'm an engineering student. Um, unfortunately, I've had I never watched the um, the BL series. But um, if you ask me, it's probably because of the fact that engineering students they work together a lot. They spend a lot of time together. And sometimes, when certain people have high respect for one another, you know, when you talk and it clicks, it doesn't matter if it has to be boys and girls or girls and girls. It could be just between two individuals. You have respect for one another. Another, you have the chemistry that is there. So, as an engineer, you know, when um, hydrogen and oxygen combine, you get water. So, um, H two O doesn't matter. Be our series, hence. Uh, it's probably one of the logic. Um, I've never watched it before, but uh, if you ask me, that's my straight-off answer. 